basically uh, what we're supposed to do is do a stand-up comedy act. We have different topics like, like four topics, yeah, yeah. four topics like uh, sex, dating, Fear, puberty, dating. and childhood. Yeah. So basically, we can talk about our lives, or we can come up with a script, but we don't have a script. Yeah, and we have to talk about all these topics and hopefully make you guys laugh. Yeah. Actually, personally, I have the utmost respect for stand-up comedians. Mm -hmm. To not do justice, and because I don't have a script, it's going to fuck me over. It's really, yeah, it's really not easy because they actually rehearse like tons of times and they've got it all memorized and they've got to react to the audience laughing and then hold like you know waiting and when no one gets your jokes like how the fuck do you react? It is utmost genius because they make someone laugh and they have to wing their script. That is genius. We are geniuses. Mm -hmm. Just maybe not in the stand-up comedy. Yeah. Yes. yeah. When I was a child I remember the most devastating comment was I don't friend you. Eh, we bluff bluff friend her. This is like the most, <coughs> I don't know, dangerous thing that could happen then. I can't think of any right now. My childhood involved a lot of shit, uh, literally. I mean, I ate more shit. That was a while back, lah. But you know, people make mistakes. So my story goes as such, uh, spilling my toys decides to come out. But I'm like, no! So I clamp my ass together, like, and it's stuck there! <laughs> but the problem is, right, it got stuck in limbo, so it's like, you know, it's like, it's there, it's not fully out, but it's there. So, I dig my ass. Oh! It's on my fingers, like a slab of wasabi, which is quite delightful, you know, so, as in the wasabi lah. <laughs> so, I looked at it, and natural instinct was to lick it. Oh! My story of my childhood. Full of shit. I don't feel very funny. Okay, wait. <laughs> Purity. Hmm. I remember how in primary 4 or 5, everyone, all the girls are like, you know, called out of class and have to go for a talk. I came from a co ed school, so yeah. So all the girls were called up and, you know, we went to for this talk. And basically, it's like whisper or cortex or whatever, and they are like trying to give you free pets and trying to tell you about your period coming. But the problem is that half the girls in my class already got their period, so I was like in the lonely part. I never, I haven't got my fucking period yet. I thought I was a freak. And eventually, when I did get it, like around like when I was twelve, um, I thought I shed my pants. Yeah, and so that marked the start of womanhood for me. This is the part where everyone boosts me off the stage and go like, fuck off, go home. I used to think girls splash when they pee. Okay, we have like a rocket ship. So you know where it's going, it's like a line, a guided line. But for girls, right, it's like, huh? If a guy has to pee, like, okay, I know it's gonna come out this way because like it's one line, it's gonna go psh. So for a girl, if it's just it's like, like a bomb shot, bah! like a shotgun shell, bah! like, like, you know, you spring a chili in your own. Chicken rice is a pear. I'm perspiring a lot. That's hormones caused by puberty. What's the next topic? <laughs> okay, I hope the guy whom I ran out with uh, isn't, doesn't watch this program. I'm pretty sure he does because we are friends now. We were out on a date and I didn't like him. So I told him uh, that my cat was dying and I had to go home. Yeah, this is a true story. It's not that funny, but I mean, it's funny now that I think about it. I don't remember what else. What else is funny? It's not even funny, oh my god. We're talking about dating right on the fruit, right? Okay, I personally don't really go on dates. I'm quite shy, actually. Quite introverted. I have my own space. But when I do, I usually have nice dates, though. I just guess, like, for one date, watching Indiana Jones wasn't cool, though. No, that, no, that's not even funny. Okay, let's talk about small dicks. Someone, somewhere, I'm not saying all, has bound to have met a guy with a small cock. So, and I mean, I'm 28, and exactly how do you react? You can't display any form of shock or um, disapproval because that will like really bruise guys' egos, blah blah blah. And I have like very bad luck with these things, you know, because they look perfectly fine on the outside. 
And what happens is that when you make out and then after that, I don't know, you start fondling or something and... <laughs> Where is it? Guys like blowjobs, right? Yeah. So, I mean, when a woman's doing it, I mean, I know the penis can only do so much. But do us a favour, you know, just act interested. Don't worry, right? <laughs> Sex. I like, no, no, I mean, I've never tried it. Here is good. <laughs> okay, so we are done with the stand up comedy challenge. And, um. <laughs> girls splashing when they pee. Like Fantasy Island. That's <laughs> possible, so girls, oh my god. No, oh, girls splash. No, I used to think they splash. I mean, come on, uh, guys have like a. Until you, how old are your sisters? I don't ask. Hey, Natalia, how do you pee? I just watched Girl Man. Do you slash? Is your sister watching it? <laughs> she watches it all the time. Uh. My sister pees with a line. She doesn't splash. Man, you know what you're making me think? You're making me think that she does splash. Really? It's not like I watch it. That's how your childhood is shaped. Really? It's shaped.